What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today I am reacting to the Sony showcase where they talked about all the biggest games that are going to be releasing in this upcoming summer and the fall. And honestly, when you look at the overall reaction to the showcase, surprisingly, it was pretty mid. Kenny McCormick has died of boredom. Now, the question is going to be about what are the good things, the bad and the ugly that we can take away from the showcase. And it's going to be up to your boy Marsman to give you the full reaction. So let's start off with the good. The fact is this showcase showed off a lot of great multi-plat games that a lot of people were hyped to see because there was all these rumors surrounding the entire event. Games like Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake, Bungie's Marathon, Alan Wake 2, all considered to be big time reveals. And honestly, I was really hyped to finally get to see my boy Snake make his appearance. I'll tell you what, you can charge me whatever price you want for Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake, I'll, I'll pay that price. I, I have no doubts in my mind. Bungie's Marathon was definitely that surprise drop, but it was honestly a really cool thing to see on its return. Now, if you look at social media, a lot of people were mixed about the new art style that came up with this marathon. I mean, honestly, I was just shocked that Bungie would bring that old title back. We also saw some good things with PSVR 2 getting its own Resident Evil 4 VR mode. And honestly, for those people who were and already had purchased PSVR 2, they finally are starting to get some more titles that they can kind of dive into themselves. And based on what Sony had showed us earlier today, the prices or the sales of PSVR 2 are stabilizing, which is a great thing to see for that system. And we did also see the two biggest releases coming out for PS5 this year, which was going to be Final Fantasy 16 and the thing to end the show for Spider-Man 2. Now they both look pretty solid in their trailers. Obviously Final Fantasy 16 coming out this month was obviously a pretty big deal because we're getting starting to actually get to see more of the story trailers and I think it is going to kind of land well and without any glitches, I think it should be pretty successful right out the gate. But honestly, Spider-Man 2 ending the show was the smart move because everyone was waiting to see what was going to happen next. And the, the story trailer that they did drop did get a lot of fans hyped. Seeing that Spider-Man in the entire Venom outfit, Venom Spider-Man was obviously really hyped to see with Miles Morales. And we already know what kind of is going to happen here. And it's going to be a very exciting moment to finally jump back with our famous and most beloved web slinger. Now with the good, we do have to talk about the bad. When I look at all the different indies that were dropped or shown during this showcase, they honestly looked just average. They just were standard. They just didn't really come out with anything that felt like I should be excited to try this smaller studio or try this smaller game. They should have shown more here overall, but I think that was just like an average experience. And with the bad, we have to talk about the ugly. The biggest negative I saw right out the gate was kind of the limited amount of AAA games that were shown. If you look at the total list of games that were kind of shown in trailers or in gameplay moments of this entire showcase, a major part of the 12 of them were all going to be multi-plat. Now, granted, I'm not expecting to see this entire showcase be an exclusive showcase, but I was expecting a lot more of these AAA games to be revealed. Of all the different studios that they have that Sony does possess with all these major titles along the way, only four of them really showed up. I mean, Spider-Man 2 was a great trailer. Final Fantasy 16 is kind of what you expected. And getting that VR game with Resident Evil VR mode was a great thing to see. What about any sort of trailer for Wolverine or Ghost of Tsushima 2 or Last of Us Part 3? Even something to say that, yeah, we're working on. And not even Last of Us Fact. Like, I'm not expecting them to, to show me entire gameplay trailer of Wolverine at this point. And I understand if it's not ready to not show something that looks broken. But you got to give us more than what we had this year. I mean, it seems like these Sony state of plays definitely give us a lot more fan reaction and hype than what this entire showcase has ever done in the past two years. Instead, we get a cinematic trailer from a game called Foam Stars, which was basically a foam kind of bubble version of Splatoon. It kind of just felt like Sony missed the mark on the revealing of games. And you can even ask a lot of the Sony fanboys and they were like, damn, this is this was so little compared to what we were expecting. And lastly, I think this Project Q is honestly a major flop. I mean, the concept of a mobile Sony console is not the problem. It's the issue that how it works and really the components you need for it to be usable. You need to have an entire PS5 already in your house connected to the same Wi-Fi system as your mobile device. And you are basically just playing a kind of, I guess, cloud version of your games 
which honestly is not even up to the, the technology yet for it to work as efficiently as it should. This is the equivalent of using xCloud, but instead you're going to buy a device to do it. And it's just so not inspiring. I thought if you're going to drop PSP2, this would have broken the entire mobile industry. I mean, I've been playing PSP since I was a little kid and I was hoping that they would bring back that console, especially with the rise of mobile gaming growing so fast as it is. And if you were to have a mobile device that would actually be able to play some of these banger exclusives, that would just wipe out the entire industry. But instead you have a phone-ish mobile device that can't run your games as fast as it should be. And you need to have the direct Wi-Fi system and entire PS5 in order for it to work. Overall, when I think about the showcase, you can definitely point out the good and the bad. The exclusives they showed definitely were solid. Spider-Man 2 and Final Fantasy 16 were definitely great trailers in the entire showcase. And they did show off some badass multi-plat games like Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake, Alan Wake 2, and Bungie's Marathon making its return was definitely a surprise. But the lack of first-party games Games does get me concerned because all the fans including myself want to see what Sony's been cooking and the Sony Project Q device is honestly a dumb idea because they had the ability to drop something like a PSP2 that would have stolen the entire industry. Is this the end of the world for Sony? Not at all. Sony's sales of the consoles have been skyrocketing. Their PSVR2 prices have been stabilizing and people are more excited about Sony going into the future. Sony will be just fine. It's just honestly disappointing to see that they have the ability to show off all these brand new titles and IPs that they've been working on and we got little to nothing here. There are so many rumors about these big AAA projects that are being worked on, and I know the same amount of information about them before as I did after the showcase, and that's pretty much nothing. Thank you everyone for watching. What do you think about the Sony showcase? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.